right, head to the Internet Archive with the link provided, download the zip file, and save it to your downloads folder. Make sure that your browser does not mangle the .zip extension. Hit save. Now, this is about a gigabyte, so make sure you have two gigabytes for you, right? Obviously, for the download and to extract it. And uh, it might take a few minutes. We'll just zoom you ahead here through the magic of desktop digital editing. And we're done with the browser for now. Let's go ahead and head over to the Dolphin File Manager. Put it in split mode. On the left side is our downloads. Let's right-click Extract here. And on the uh, other side, we will have the uh, home folder. This is going to take a few moments to extract. On the other side, we'll have the uh, home folder that's sitting on your SSD on your Steam Deck. And make sure that you have show hidden files turned on, because otherwise you're going to be missing some of the things you need to copy. OK, the extraction is done. So let's go inside the extracted home folder. There are three folders here. We are going to move them over to our Steam Deck's home folder and move and we'll hit apply to all and write into there should be no overwriting of anything all right that's pretty quick and easy right we're done all right inside of applications there will be this app image we're going to rename it to something like rush right because at some point we may have an update and we want to be able to just copy the update over top of this one right okay also uh let's take a look at what else we installed here just so you know Underneath the config, there is a config folder here that has all the settings as part of the install. And a local share, the project R folder is in there for you. Okay, so those are the items. We're going to go back to our applications, right click the app image and add to Steam. This takes just a moment, so we'll go ahead and let it do its thing. Now we're ready to open up Steam and take a look at our library. And because we called it rush.appimage, it should appear as rush here. And there she is, rush app image. Perfect. Select that, go to the gear, and select properties. Excellent. Now we don't have to set any compatibility. This is a native Linux app. All we need to really do is change the name to something that we like. We'll make ours uh, San Francisco Rush 2049. Excellent. All right, now before we run it, let's go back to gaming mode. Everything's a little smoother over there. So now we're in gaming mode. You'll see it's part of our recent games. And again, take a look over here at our properties. Everything is set up just the way we left it. Perfect, let's run it. And you'll see that it's already done. Everything's installed, it's all ready to go. All you have to do is hit start. Life is good, life is good. So if we hit start on the left-hand one, we're playing Rush the Rock. And uh, let's just real quick, just make sure that it runs, blah, 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 click, 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 move, move, move. And uh, yeah, there we go. The rock is playable and it works just fine. Okay. All right, so we're gonna hit the start button and go to exit game and then quit game and we're back. Now, if you want to run the game separately, right? You don't just want to you don't want to run the menu first and then run the game. You can go to properties and type in a launch option. And the launch option will be dash dash R T R. Okay. And then you of course could rename this to whatever, like The Rock. So you could add multiple entries to Steam for the same app image, just changing the launch options for each game. You could have three, one for the menu version, one for rock, and then run one for the special edition. There you go, see? We have no menu, perfect. Okay, we'll quit back out. Now let's go and change it to the other version. In this case, we'll change it to 2049. And we just changed this up here. I did that off camera, a little sneaky. And let's try it now. There you go. Now it's playing. Uh, now it's playing the 2049 SE version. And I did all the extras, all the bonus stuff. Nothing for you to do other than just stall and play. And that's it. So uh, pretty straightforward. And again, if you want to turn it back off, just go back to that launch option there and take away the uh, the launch items, the 2049, and then you can just change the name. 
take away our launch options, and now we are back to just playing it from the menu. If you want to go play with settings or do whatever, that's how you do it. All right, listen, I hope you like what we're doing here. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.